In today's data-driven world, there is a lot of talk about making decisions in so-called objective data. Information such as age, where people live, how much schooling they have had, or their income is collected to help make these so-called informed decisions. But here's the problem. We sometimes forget that people collecting these forms of data and those making those decisions have their own biases. Decisions reflect the majority view, which means that other experiences can be sidelined. This means we need better strategies to collect more diverse participant data and research. We need to understand that different parts of our backgrounds interact and affect the way we experience the world, often in very different ways. This is what is termed intersectionality. Using intersectionality as a lens helps us to see the whole person and how all parts of their identity come together, influencing their experiences and the way the world sees and treats them. This highlights that researchers and decision makers need to work to improve processes for data collection and analysis to better reflect justice, fairness, and inclusivity. In my recent paper, I propose a new way of collecting data about research participants. I argue that researchers should incorporate reflective, open-ended questions into their survey design. I decided to ask people to tell me about themselves in their own words without the usual checkboxes. Some people went the traditional route, but others shared stories and parts of their identities I would never have captured in a traditional survey. For example, when asked about their ethnicity, Chris explained that they descended from a long line of alcoholics. Specifically, I asked my participants to share their stories in their own words by writing a self-written diversity statement. The depth of what I got back was incredible. It was like these self-written snippets opened a window into the real lives and challenges people face, way beyond what any standard survey would capture. One of the most exciting findings from my study is how I used all these different bits of info from the open-ended questions and the diversity statement and weaved them into what I call holistic introductory stories. Imagine taking a bit from here and a snippet from there to stitch together a complete narrative about someone. For example, in Ray's story, I learned that she was 32 years old neurodivergent and had a chronic health condition. I also discovered that she considered herself as having a lot of privilege, which she described as originating from her membership to an oppressor caste within her Indian society, her socioeconomic mobility, as well as her opportunities for international education. If I had simply asked her to tick some boxes to describe herself, I would never have gained this more nuanced understanding of her intersectional identities. My findings highlight the importance of encouraging epistemic justice in our research practices. Epistemic justice is about fairness. It ensures that everyone's voices and knowledges are equally respected, no matter where they come from or how they express themselves. It is about ensuring all perspectives are considered, especially those often ignored or undervalued. If you are interested, check out my full paper for more details. Thank you.